All right, everyone, I decided to do a little road cruising tonight since we got a lot of rain today and we're only a few yards down from the house and we already cruised the first species. This is a decays brown snake. It's a little guy, but that's pretty cool. Uh, that gives me some hope that we're gonna find some good species tonight and, and hopefully a lot of herps. But I'm gonna help this guy to the other side of the road and we're gonna keep on cruising. All right, here's a better look at this decays brown snake before I let him go. Uh, you guys should have saw him in my last video if you watched them, but these guys are pretty cool snakes. I don't get to see them a lot, even though they're pretty common. But I'm gonna let this guy go and maybe we'll find some more snakes. All right, here's the next herp of the night. This is a Northern Two Line Salamander. You can kind of see on this guy, he has that black line running down the side and that's how they get their name. They have it on both sides of their body. But I'm gonna let this guy go and keep on cruising. Here's the next herp of the night that I just cruised. This is a big, oh, there he's running. Yeah, these things are so fast. There's a big long tailed salamander. There you guys again. Look how fast these things are. Well, I'm gonna make sure that she gets off the road and we're gonna keep on cruising. All right, just road cruise, the next herp of the night. This is a wood frog. So I'm just gonna let this guy go and we're gonna keep on cruising and hopefully we see some more herps tonight. Look what I just flipped. It's the next day since road cruising wasn't all that good last night. Look at this, four ringneck snakes underneath one rock. Cool, this is a snake garden that I made probably about a month or two ago. And it's already producing, this is awesome. Yeah, I love ringneck snakes. They have that beautiful yellowish, sometimes orangish belly on them. And of course, right on there, right around the neck, you can see that yellow stripe going around. That's awesome. I'm gonna let these guys move them out of the way for a second, and then I'm gonna flip the rest of these rocks and see what else is under them. Just flipped the fifth ringneck snake, and this one was underneath that stack of rocks that I put out a month or two ago. It's pretty cool, we got five ringneck snakes under two different rock piles. It's pretty cool. Look how pretty that belly is too. I love these snakes. Cool, I'm gonna let them all go and maybe we'll see some more herps today. Here you guys go. All right, I ended up changing locations again and this is the first snake that I just flipped this is another ringneck snake not as big as the last ones at the last spot but still pretty this guy has a really nice belly on him I love these snakes even though they're pretty common that's cool I'm gonna put them back underneath this rock and we're gonna keep on flipping just flipped a beautiful eastern milk snake look at the collars on this guy a little mean, he's trying to bite. Come here, dude. All right, I'm gonna have to probably flip this rock to get him back out. All right, I got this milk snake out from underneath the rock. You can really see how pretty he is. He has that cute little heart right on the back of his head. That's so cool. These are such pretty snakes, probably one of the prettiest we have here in Western Maryland. If we'll let me flip them over. Look how checkered pattern that belly is. It's just so cool about these snakes. And I love these guys. But I'm gonna put them back underneath this rock. I don't like stressing snakes out too much by holding them. And we're gonna keep on flipping and see if we can find any more. Just flipped another milk snake. This guy's not as pretty. He's a bit, little bit darker. And coloration so see he still has that heart right on the back of his head it's one of the features that 
Uh, you can tell what it is. Pretty snake. Both of them have been super grumpy though when I'm catching them, which I mean, who can blame them? That's cool. Found two in a row. So I'm just gonna let this guy go back underneath his rock and we'll probably do some more flipping here still. All right, here's the next snake of the day. This is a northern water snake. It's actually munching down what looks to be a bluegill, so a fish. Oh, that's pretty neat though. Well, I'm not gonna bother this guy any. I'm gonna let him have his meal. I'm gonna go on my way and hopefully he gets to scarf that fish down. That's pretty cool.